Anyway. Sharon, my dude. Are you ready to get fucking shit on? Let me equip my um, berries real quick. Not forget about that. In German? Uh, it depends. I'd say it's like 60% English, 40% German. Honestly, most of the like talking to myself and dreaming and thinking and shit that I do is in English. I like talking in my sleep is apparently in English as well. My girlfriend told me that. Or like when she like wait when I'm like half asleep and she like talks to me as she gets out the house, I like usually talk English. Um I don't know, but I do that shit in German sometimes as well. It depends on what I'm talking about, I guess. Yeah, I don't think so either, Joko. When you think it's English? Uh, depends. Most of it is, but not all of it. It's weird. Anyway, is Beedra leading? Okay, let's win this. Hey, AKJLF, thanks for following. I think we're actually semi close to 4K, dude. 4K followers, boys. Okay. I would like to set up a focus energy here because we do have sniper. It's like super worth it or it becomes worth it in my opinion. I don't know if this could be a mistake. This is fine. I think my cross poison can absolutely kill here. Before one even be 30% of Pokemon. <laughs> nice meme, Joko. That's uh, that's actually extremely true. I'm not getting the crit. He uses work up again. He's gonna waste a potion, and I get the free focus, focus energy set up, and he do hasn't done anything because he decided to double work up like a. Fucking retard! <gasps> we win. I'm pretty sure we just won. I think I think it's just over. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, milk. I think the thing is, I learned English really early on in my life. Like when I was like three years old, I started speaking English. English, because at the time I was living in Singapore, which is going to like an English kindergarten, so I was just forced to learn English there. So it's it's kind of like a second first language to me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I lost Mad Zats, I lost hard to Skyla. It was really bad. This could kill. Pedo's defense is bad in this game. Yeah, we got the crit. Easy. We need to get the crit here, otherwise we're in trouble. Nope, didn't get it. I really need to get the crit here because a workup rock tomb is gonna hurt a lot. Uh, I thought I could maybe kill with high roll here, but now I'm not after leftovers. Come on. Nice crit. That's really good. Okay. Yeah, we have a crit rate of like 33% with focus energy. It's not too unlikely to crit in two in two hits there. I'm gonna Bug bite this to steal the berry. Classic beedrill sweep. Yep. Ah, we didn't do a bet. It's fine. Everyone would have bet zero anyway. It doesn't matter. Whatever. We'll do a bet on Roxy, okay? Roxy is usually interesting. We usually lose one Pokemon to Roxy. I think we've lost one to Roxy every single time, if I'm not mistaken. One shots the Benary without a fucking crit. Beedrill is such a fucking god, dude. In this game, it's just insane, man. <sighs> nice. I think this should be a kill. Ooh. Oh shit. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, we got this. Ooh, if my 
uh, cross poison poison it there. He would have gotten a guts boost. I would have been in crit range for that. That could have been unfortunate. But we're fine. We're good. That's like so unlikely. Like I get a poison on him and he crits me. That's like a what? Like a one in fucking one in like forty. One in like fifty something. Okay. Beedrill needs a Shell Bell so we can gain some return damage. Because we do want to raise his um, friendship by quite a lot. We got the return TM here, which is unbelievably broken in this game. Because Dreano, the maker of this hack, buffed all base happiness. So you start at like 70, so you reach the max like really quickly. Especially because you get the early game Soothe Bell. It's really easy to max out return like super quickly in this game. Which is why friendship evolutions are also so easy to achieve. Like, if we get Riolo, we can just have it be a Lucario for the Sharon fight. And don't even have to grind that much, like, friendship for it. 1 in 100 chance, something like that, yeah. Although, maybe... Nah, that was... Uh, Non-crit with Guts Boost would have not killed me there. Oh, if it's 1... If it's 10%, yeah, then it's super low for that to happen. Yeah, I think cross poison chance isn't too high because it does have that additional plus crit effect, right? done here can I get my return TM please I like how we just get two TMs for beating this gem the workup TM is mostly useless I don't think I've ever used it I don't see for what to be honest like raising by plus one is usually pretty bad the reason why stuff like call mind or bulk up is good is because it also gives you the defensive boost right um like think about it this way comparing like workup to bulk up right Bulk up boosts up your boosts up your stats for the immediate turn, right? Because it gives you defense and attack. So, depending on if you're faster or slower, the current turn or the turn after, you get to block damage and deal damage, right? Now, if you use work up, you can only ever use a physical or a special attack in one turn. So you're only boosting by one stage for one turn. That's not as effective, right? Oh yeah, level cap links. New level cap is, as always, 21 for Roxy. Oh, it's 27. I'm sorry. No, it's not. It's 21. I'm retarded. It's not 27. What the fuck? I was so surprised and happy when my execute learned extra sensory. So I heard in confusion. Dude, extra sensory is so OP. So, like, especially in Dreano hacks, I remember it was really cool in Fire at Omega. Natu was made, like, useful, or Zatu. Only for the reason that I learned like extra sensory at like level 20. That's a 80 base power, 100 accuracy move with an upside of flinching. It's so good. It has a shit ton of a, a shit ton of PP, so it's perfect for grinding. 80 base power stab move at level 20 is crazy good. I can't think of almost any Pokemon that gets that. Crazy. What happened to the run? We got fucked by Skyla. Got majorly fucked by Skyla. Oh my god, it was awful. We had one attempt in between, now we're on a beat drill attempt. Last round. It's not actually, it's just a different one. We had one failed attempt in between. Thought that was the run. Me too. I thought it could beat Skyla, but it was a triple battle and my entire ordering was fucked and I got fucked because her team is actually quite strong. I underestimated her. I need to 
rebuild my team a little bit, I think. I need to use some different Pokemon, I think, as well. The more I think about it, I said earlier my team building was fine for it, but I don't actually think so. I think, like, Lucario I shouldn't have brought. If I would have known it was a triple battle, I would have definitely not brought Lucario. Like, for, um, for triple battles and double battles, defensive Pokemon are so much better, in my opinion. I don't know. Jokario is my local VGC expert. I don't know if you would agree with this. But I feel like in 1v1 Pokemon, this is just from my experience in Nuzlocking, in 1v1 compared to doubles or triples, um, Pokemon who are mo more offensively oriented, like Sweepers, like Lucario or something, is like way better in a 1v1 scenario because you can just outspeed and kill and you're not going to take a hit. If you're in a double battle, you have a frail sweeper out, you outspeed, kill one, but then you take a hit from the other. Unless both are sweepers and both manage to take both opponents out. You know what I mean? Maybe Q-tips, maybe. I think that was still like, uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe I could have snowballed that fight if I rock slided, you're right. I was too greedy on the stealth rock, it was a pretty bad decision. Okay, this guy leads with Rog and Rolla. He has Rog and Rolla, Wooper, and Riolu. I want to fight the Riolu with a special attack because it is a counter and endure. That shit can get counter and do a quick attack, that shit can get a little bit annoying. I don't know if that makes sense, like my assessment of the sweepers aren't as useful in doubles as they are in singles. VGC does use- eh, what? I just misclicked. It doesn't matter, because I hit the hypnosis. Um, I think from, from like the usage stats and everything, it seems like like super offensive Pokemon. Like the only one that I think I saw in VGC was like Kartana. Right? Maybe like you would count like Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko is a really good defensive typing. Wait, what did I just use? That was faint, right? What move was that? I'm not dead to anything, I don't think. Yeah, that was faint. It's five damage, what the fuck? Only two weaknesses on a legendary are fantastic. Yeah, Tapu Koko is great. Cortana is pure offense, but it does do all trash defensive typing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. It's all good. This probably has water absorb. I'm gonna switch, fuck it. Do you have a grass type move? You do not. Jesus Christ, dude. Why is this thing so bad? Suwaddle, why Why does it exist? I'm just gonna stay in that scratch. Oh God, the acid spray. It's fine, we got this. Just have to hit the hypnosis, right? Good shit. Uh, let's switch to Beedrill, actually. Why don't you have a fucking Grass-type Suwaddle? A Grass-type move. Looked off into the distance. I was just talking to my girlfriend, my dude. I had my microphone muted. It is really cold, though. She just mentioned that. Now I'm really cold, too. Fuck. <laughs> 
It's all good, Q-tips, don't worry about it. Dude, Beedrill's such a fucking beast. How does Beedrill do it? Just, like, take out all of these fucking nerds. That's so great. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? What are we doing, fam? Um... I think I need to heal, right? I, sh I should just lead with Beedrill, actually. And experience share this, because this is not going to get any work done. I think I should skip trainer battles. There's no point in fighting them. We're doing Audino grinding later anyway. Does anyone remember if Cyndaquil was summer? I think it was, right? Ah, you can just check with the clown. Because it's perfect, so now it's October. You can now I don't have to change the date on my computer to get the right starter Pokemon. Item hidden on the rocks to the north? Uh, yeah, it's a potion. Leveny isn't bad? I guess so, yeah. Is that... Ch you can't really call that a chick, right? Oh, she is a spinner. It's like a little girl. I can't call a little girl a chick, right? <laughs> it's not really appropriate, I don't think. Let's get that item. I can always pick up the items on this route when I go back um, hunting for the Team Plasma dude. Okay, this fight you have to fight. Which makes sense, because they want to teach players about double battles, right? Although this is like the only forced double battle I remember in like this entire game. <laughs> they just like their triples and rotations. Um, so this should be easy. We just take this out. I think I need to be afraid of Daisy dying here. Twin Needle? We determined the Twin Needle is worse than Bug Bite, right? I like the fun of Twin Needle because you can get like sniper crits because you have the double the chance to crit and then you can have like a really high chance of poisoning because you hit twice you can get like really sick hacks with it but it's fun to use but bug bite is just better on average some double battle such a dumb double battle in the original is just your team versus two sun currents <laughs> i don't even remember that <laughs> that's pretty great good enough Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Ten of sets of ammo, man. Uh, yeah, I would like to learn confusion. Actually, that'd be great. Over scratch, fuck yeah. Got him, boys. You just got like 30 Cherish Balls here, I love that. I'm pretty sure it's not 30 in the original, right? You also start out with 30 Pokeballs in this game, which you don't in the original. Is there five or ten great balls? What? I want great balls. What the fuck? Can I buy them here? I might as well. S Ooh, netball. These don't help me with um, Victini, right? Okay, so I don't care. I'm just gonna blow literally all my money on great balls here. Actually, repels would be nice. Like five. 
and then I'm gonna blow the rest of my money on great balls because I need as many great balls as I can possibly get for Victini. Even though we did determine that Victini is not that good, it's still useful enough to, um, because we don't need the money for anything else early game. Right. Might as well just increase our chance of getting Victini. Every, every item we could buy is just convenience, like saving time, not actually us doing better in the run. Because we can't only use the potion outside of battle, and we can just go to a poker center then, right? Or with the um, repels, like we can just fight the fights. Alright, um, let's get the Cyndaquil, and then get the other encounter. This is the first time we're- no, this is not the first time we got zero deaths for Sharon, right? Summer we get a Cyndaquil, yes. Okay, what Disney character is Cyndaquil, guys? What do you think? I do have a sleep Pokemon, yeah, that's really, really nice. For Victini. And it's a water Pokemon too. Uh, what could Cyndaquil be? Let's think about this. Um, fire, 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 fire. I guess it could be the bad dude from, uh, from Hunchback? What is that guy called? Who else deals with fire in Disney? Or who could be like Quilava? Fuck. Claude Frollo? That's a f terrible name for a Cyndaquil. Is there no other Disney villain that dealt with fire? Or Disney character that dealt with fire? There has to be someone, right? Isn't there someone in The Incredibles called like Inferno or something? There's Lumiere. Lumiere would be really good for a Litwick if we get one though. I don't know if I want to save that. I don't even know if this run is going that far. Let's just do Lumiere, fuck it. What's up, Swag Sugar? Welcome back, man. How are you doing today? Okay, how's this? What is this cynical? Got Blaze, Sassy Nature, 28 Speed, 20, 25, 20. This is a decent cynical. The God Run died too. Skyle is an expected triple battle. Exactly. Okay. Wait, why am I going to heal? Fuck that. Okay, let's lead with Psyduck and get the um, encounter down there. Um. Oh, uh, Cynical wants the XP share also. If I can find it. Wait, who has it? Oh, you do. Okay. Let's get the silk scarf real quick, Okay. 
Well, I didn't mean to run into that fight at all. It's fine. Shouldn't be leading with Psyduck though. Although this guy might have fire types. Nah. Little Pup is a little like normal types are strong, man. This thing is level 16. Early game normal types are really good because they get all this all the moves and stab that I just have like normally. Let's um let's get a Pumba, actually. That's a lot of fucking damage from a takedown. What the fuck, dude? Wait, what? I didn't know that worked. I didn't know pickup had an in-game effect in this game. What? Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. Okay, just cross poison. Uh, yeah. Okay. I didn't reach 15 yet? I thought I reached 15 in the Sharon fight. No, of course I didn't. I soloed everything with Beedrill. <laughs> okay. Um, try matter time. I can stay in here, dude. Fuck it. I have good special defense, and Ember is not gonna hurt me that much. Oh, could I have Dragon Rage though? I should watch out for that. Pick up, pick up my Instagram battle. I did not know that, like at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. Pickup is becoming more and more my favorite ability, you know what I mean? Like, damn. Wait, I need to make the fucking capture. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, let's see what we get. Cinder Girl's pretty good IVs. Yeah, it's not bad. The special attack sucks. And that's kind of what matters. Interesting. Very interesting. I've never used a Magby in, in this game before. Ooh, this could be cool. I want to look up how to evolve a Magmar in this game, though. Use the Magmarizer. Okay, where do you find the Magmarizer in this game? Route 9 store is... wait. There's also been changes to a couple of secondary Pokemarts in cities. Burbank now holds Luxury Balls. Drifting holds all the four shards. Route 9 department store. That is not post-game, right? Route 9 department store is not post-game. I think you can get like all the evolution items there. Smokescreen and Dipnose is a bad fucking time though. Bad fucking time. Okay, I'll use Pokeballs because I want to save my Great Balls for Victini. Lord Kane, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. The god team last night fucking died to Skyla because Skyla happened to be a fucking triple battle. God damn it, dude. I got fucked so hard. Okay, what? Okay, fuck. We need to come up with another fucking Disney character. What Disney character could Magby be, guys? What you... Ooh, is there like a volcano type memer? No. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, Hades is perfect. Holy fuck, those IVs. Oh my god, those are the worst IVs I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? Four zero one zero ten eight. My best IV is ten, and I have two zeros and a one. What the fuck? Holy shit, that's the worst Pokemon I've ever gotten. The nature is also garbage. I think. I don't think you can build Magmar, like, physically, right? Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that thing sucks ass. Oh my god. Alright, experience share is on, uh, Cindy. We will lead with um, Tepig so we can get the evolution ASAP. And um, if I fight all the trainers and the meme down here, um, Cyndaquil is going to reach the perfect level to fight the Roxy trainers. It's going to have extra sensory at that point, which is perfect. And then we can grind everyone to 21 and then we can fight Roxy. Does that deserve to sit next to Cyndaquil? <laughs> It's so bad, dude. Need to implement the minimum three perfect IVs on baby Pokemon thing in general earlier? Yeah, definitely. God damn it, IVs. Oh god. Alright, whatever. This should be fine since I'm not a fighting type yet, although that means assurance does more damage, but. Swoop has really, like, garbage attack, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just throw it. I could, like, kill it with a high roll here. Withdraw into Vulpix? Is this Flash Fire? What the fuck are these plays? Oh my god. Jesus. I think it's actually best to stay in here. Really, dude. We're doing this. Oh god, get the fuck out of there. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, uh... Psyduck. Do something. Be no, be useful. Oh god, that's not good either. What do you even do? You have like you have a faint attack. That's decent. Um, predicting another roar. I should go to the least useful Pokemon right now, which would be Manny. But in case he does Ember, I think I'd rather just go to Cyndaquil. I could have just stayed in actually and faint attack. That's actually the best move here. That's by far the best move. Now you tail whip. Really, dog? Okay, now I'm a little bit afraid for Cyndaquil. I don't think I want to afford losing him. I'm just going to switch to Pumba. The AI is so good. Like, what the fuck? Got the predictions and everything. Holy shit. Although a roar would have been the perfect prediction there. Oh my god. The damage. Then Buffy's at like 4 AI. That shit was brutal, man. That shit was brutal. Okay, I'll just stay in Flame Charge. Ooh, the gust could hurt though. Crit! Oh god. Ooh, the speed boost means I'm faster though. But what if this, if this has a priority move, I can't risk it. I gotta go to like Daisy. Try to roar last round. Oh yeah, he saw. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even notice.
could just use foresight. Okay, sure. Okay, good shit. Quick attack for Lumiere? Sure. It's better than Leer. It's not actually better than Tackle. If you're faster, Tackle is better. It used to be Quick Attack was like straight, straight. Like Tackle has been buffed so much. It used to be like 35 power and like 95 accuracy. It used to be so fucking terrible. Yeah, the setup is really bad too. It also has maximum IV 10. We've gotten pretty unlucky in this dude. <laughs> Got a cynical here. Should be fine. I have Ember, right? Okay. For the Ember here. Oh shit, is the Catalonia shit actually happening? It says they're ready, they told the BBC they're ready to declare independence. That shit is so scary. I don't know about you guys, but that shit scares me, dude. Shit, Lagoon Ivy's like Magby. I mean, they're pretty close. Still, none of them exceeds 10. Okay. What the fuck was that? Oh, that was like a water thing appearing, I think. I don't fucking know, dude. Anyway. Everything except Beedrill in this run is fucking trash. I'm like, I guess the side that the cynical IVs are okay. But like damn. We've gotten like apart from the Weedle, we've gotten pretty unlucky. What is scary? Um so Catalonia is a subregion of Spain, and um Catalonia would like to be independent from Spain, but Spain does not like that at all. Um so then. They just had like a vote, and technically they weren't allowed to vote, and there was like um, people going to the votes anyway, but they had to like close, and it, it was a lot of memes, but in the end, basically they really want to be independent. Spanish version of Brexit, it's a lot different, it's very different. The EU is something that's not very old, right? It's not a very old institution, but... Catalonia has been a part of Spain for uh, ever, right? Have they ever been a separate country? So like hundreds of fucking years like th This is like huge. It's like Culturally much deeper like Britain being part of the European Union was never like a Cultural mix of people. They're on their fucking island. Nobody cares about them, right? But like Catalonia is just a part of Spain, right? It's people who are culturally like, intertwined in the same country. It's very different. Yeah, they have been, yeah. It's so scary to me, I don't know. Like, I feel like if they actually go through with, like, declaring independence, that shit's gonna get violent. Oh shit, speaking of violent. <sighs> Crack kills me there. Fucking memes. I think they've been separate. Maybe. The 15th century, there was a land called Aragon, which Catalonia was a big part of. Yeah, so basically Spain and Catalonia have been the same country for like hundreds of years. It's insane, dude. comparable with the Scotland thing? Kinda. But Scotland, uh, the whole Scotland, UK, England situation is so, like, comp- is so weird, and they're all very different. And Scotland is its own country, kinda, right? Ah, fuck, I don't know, man. I don't know enough about that shit. All I know is that, um, 
the Catalonia shit is huge, and a lot of people like. There's not going to be if Scotland declares independence. There's not going to be like big violence. I feel like that shit would just kind of slide. But Catalonia is so different. I think. Calls the country a union. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Edwards Piero, thanks for following, buddy. Yeah, I don't know, man. What if it, like, oh, what if, like, a war breaks out between Catalonia and Spain and they get the EU involved and they draft me and Danny Moon into the fucking forces? Catalonia has Barcelona, I think. It either has Barcelona or Madrid, one of the two. I think it's more, it, yeah. I mean that too, right? The tourism shit, sure. But there's more to it than that, right? I don't know. I should read up on the topic more. I don't know enough about it. European politics is really interesting, man. I should look up. I should read up less Trump shit. And more European shit, I think. Hold on. Ah, fuck, dude. Okay, I gotta use one of my repels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I think that's how it works, Q-tips. Okay, fight me. Bitch. Bitch, come fight me, bitch. That's right. I'm talking to you. Wait, wow, he just leaves. Tiny, tiny mushrooms don't do shit in this game, right? You can just sell them. Fucking bullshit, dude. Okay, so the next fight would be... Wait, is it this dude? Wait, why am I spraying another fucking repel like a retard? Ugh, that's fine. Hey, Flying Nut, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, buddy. How you doing today? some Dutch history and learn that we are cooler than Germany I mean when it comes to like 20th century it's not that hard to be cooler than Germany you know what I'm saying <laughs> in power and comp is just an annoying wild card uh yeah although I think the amount of limited uh, the amount of hidden powers that you can have in random battles is pretty limited right like you're not gonna have like hidden power fucking like hidden power fucking uh steel right when it like doesn't make any sense at all i don't think i do like it because it makes certain play i liked it more in gen 3 when it could be physical or special it made a lot of things viable although it was a little bit too abundant there maybe it being special was a good thing i i don't think um i kind of like the move for like variety I don't know. Okay. I'll stay in. I don't think the US is cooler than Germany. But I think the US is a little bit cooler than Germany. I'm not going to lie, dude. Germany has some good stuff, but, um, like, when it comes to coolness, like, if I had two parents, one of them was the US, one of them was Germany, Germany would be, like, the, like, the sensible, reasonable mom that's, like, always kind of, like, chill and like, makes, like, good decisions for you and takes care of you, and then the US is, like, the cool dad with the motorcycle, you know what I mean? Yep, we passed Sharon without any losses. Yeah, we got another beadroll attempt. <laughs> it's pretty good. How you doing, mate? What's uh, what, what's up? Um, what's new? Should 
Shut the fuck up, Spike Sugar. <laughs> Kill yourself. Slick efficiency. <laughs> I don't. I'm such an inefficient worker, dude. It's crazy. Let me just waste my last repel as well. Why the fuck not? Wait. Oh, Tepic doesn't evolve yet? Ooh. People at my school born in 2004. Isn't that crazy? Bruh, you're. Every, everyone born before 2000. That shit's already crazy to me. Or not before after 2000 um or after 1999 so it's very crazy that you are man by the berliners <laughs> sure in terms of daily drive germany has the coolest car i don't actually like german cars very much i think volkswagen is cool but um I hate fucking. My dad worked for Mercedes his entire life, and we've had Mercedes because of it all. It's like, they're cool and everything, but they just seem so fucking overpriced, dude. Holy shit. I don't know. I'm not really into super expensive cars. I'm like into older ish cars. I like that sort Like, my favorite car, like my dream car, is like a, is like a 66 Corvette Stingray. I love that car. Oh my god, it's so cool. Um, other than that, yeah, I don't know. I don't really care for like luxury cars. So BMW, Porsche, Mercedes, Mercedes and Porsche, which are both in my hometown. Um, I don't really care for cars like that. I don't know. Wasn't Volkswagen made by Hitler? No, Hitler never founded a company. I mean, it might have been founded in the Nazi era, so was, I think the founder of Hugo Boss was also Nazi, but you know who else was an anti-Semite and a supporter of the Nazis? Fucking Henry Ford, dude. So, um, back up, my dude, back up. Jägermeister? Yeah, Fuck that shit. Fuck any German alcohol that's not beer. Maybe we have good wine, I don't know. Fuck wine. Everyone pre-1930s was an anti-semite. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to compare that to modern standards, right? Taking history again? Yeah. Japanese cars are best cars, I agree. My, like, my realistic dream car is just, like, a Toyota, like, Corolla or something. They can drive, like, for half a fucking million miles before it fucking, before anything important breaks. Yeah, I've read a lot of bad shit about Henry Ford, too. Nah, I love Japanese cars. Honda is Japanese, right? I've heard good things about Honda as well. In terms of, like, safety. Am I wrong? Hold on, am I memeing? Wait, okay, fuck. Never mind. <laughs> oh no, it is totally Japanese. <laughs> Heard a lot of bad things about Hitler. <laughs> yeah, same. What's the one hot? What car do you guys have if you have a car in chat? What do you drive? What's your ride? Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, the safety rating is what I heard about Honda being pretty good. Um, cross poison, I guess. Didn't do shit. Nissan used to. They have to climb the last three or five years. There's so many Japanese car brands, dude. There's Mitsubishi, Nissan, Honda. What else is there? Toyota and fucking um, Hyundai, right? Or is Hyundai Korean? I don't fucking know. One thing I always found interesting is there's like no Japanese car brand. I think they're starting to come up. But from what I've seen, there is like none, right? Because they never like exported shit back when car brands started to come up a lot, right? Say Hyundai? Yeah, that's how you say it. Fuck off, I'm not having this discussion. A Scion XB? Wait, what is that? You guys seen the 6 out of 10 meme? It's not available in my country, in my country probably because it says Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> It's totally pronounced Hyundai. What are you guys talking about? Why? What? what, the, what how else would it be pronounced? What the fuck? Hold on. I'm right about this one. Oh, Hyundai is um is Korean. Hyundai. Hyundai. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> It's on. It's Hyundai. Okay. How is it Hyundai? That makes no fucking sense. Hyundai. Nah. Fuck that. I'm Odesu and I drive a Hyundai. There's an H. The H is silent, dude. What the fuck? There's plenty of language where the H is silent. Nice, hit yourself, stupid bitch. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna die. <sighs> the god. The god. And the god. The god duck. The god duck. Jesus Christ, dude. Psyduck's a terrible fucking Pokemon. Yeah, because... Yeah, because in Germany, we say Hyundai. It says it in the fucking commercials, and I can prove it to you. Hold on. Fuck off. Fuck you. Hold on. Fuck off. We now interrupt this program for some Hyundai advertising. Fortschritt ist unaufhaltsam. Entwickeln wir uns gemeinsam weiter. Mit dem Auto für unsere Zeit. Mit modernem Design, umfassendem Infotainment bei jeder Fahrt und vielen intelligenten Sicherheitssystemen für alle. Move on, der neue Hyundai i30. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Neue Hyundai i30. Neue Hyundai i30. Neue Hyundai i30. Neue Hyundai i30. Fuck off. It's you and I, in German. I hear an H? You're retarded then, fuck off. Oh, you know what would be really cool? For an emo? You know the, um, the black wet face emote or whatever? You know, the black dude going like what? I need like a Psyduck that looks like that. That'd be so sick. Can someone make that for the Discord? It's Korean, Daddy Moo, you racist fuck. Are you serious? I feel like how Americans just call Minchin Munich and Cologne Cologne. Yeah, fuck you guys for that. Why don't we get to keep our fucking city in Munich? Fucking names. What black dude? This dude. I 
I don't think it's possible to make Psyduck look like that, right? I don't think that's possible. Okay. Um... Actually, hold on. We gotta grind and fight Roxy, but I'm gonna take a quick micro break. 15 minutes. I need to fucking shove a sandwich into my food hole and um, go to the bathroom and get a drink and chill out for a bit. Thanks for sticking around so far. If you want to leave, find a different channel. That's that's fine. If you want to leave, that's fine. You know, we have like a, an abusive relationship, I guess. Um, no, but but seriously, maybe during a break, explore the channel, explore the directory a bit, go find some cool streamers. I'd love it if you were back in 15 minutes. I'm going to play my Guilty Pleasure playlist. When I come back, we'll keep playing it, and we'll grind for... Um, actually, we can fight the uh, Roxy Gym Trainers, and then we'll grind. So we'll have some more we'll have some more fighting, and then we'll do grinding for um, Roxy and listen to some Guilty Pleasure tracks. I'd be happy if you came back around. Um, thanks for sticking with me so far. And um, I'll see you guys in 15 minutes.